Problem 23 could potentially take a lot of time, especially in the test, it's 23. If you're a little stressed, that's what will happen. But still, we could uh, do things to be able to do this question rather quickly. Let's see how. Rodrigo has a very large piece of graph paper. First, he draws a line segment connecting these points and colors the four cells whose interiors intersect the segment as shown below. Okay, so interiors will be like the colors inside, and you would see that this line and these colors, of course, intersect. Okay. Next, Rodrigo draws a line segment connecting these huge points. Again, he colors the cells whose interiors intersect the segments. How many cells will he color this time? Okay. So obviously, we're not supposed to draw all of this. So, and you could see that three zeros, three zeros, three zeros, three zeros. So it's telling you that, well, these numbers, they have to be simplified and we have to work with easier numbers. <laughs> but let's just check how. So for example, I have zero and four here, two and zero here. If I divide them here, okay, both of these values by, by two, so I'm going to get 0 and 2. So this point, if I divide it by 2, becomes this point. Now let's go by this one. Uh, change color. This one over here. So again, I have 2 and 0. If I again divide it by the same number, so I'm going to get 1 on x and 0 here. This one will be, okay. So this point becomes this, right? Let's just try. So when we divide everything by two, we're going to get this shape instead. And again, how many intersections? This one and this one. In other words, when we divide everything by two, instead of having one of the two of these rectangles, we're gonna get half of it, okay? So what does that mean? That means we could do one of them, it's intersecting two, and then we multiply it back by two. Okay, so we just checked that simplifying this would actually work. So instead of working with these big numbers, all we have to do is work with two, three, the first point, five and eight on the next. We're gonna find the answer and then we're going to multiply it by a thousand. Okay, so now just like take a look at the options. We could already cross some of them. See, is it possible to, for example, go through 6.5 squared? Can, do we have such a thing? No, we, it's just like we have one, two, three, always integers. So when we multiply them by a thousand, okay, maybe we get 6,000. 7,000, 8,000, but this means that this line is going to cross 6.5 squares? No. So this one is already out. This one is already out. Okay. So we're just going to go these two points. See, if you just want to find these points, okay, remember, this is the x1, this is the y1. x will be 2. This one will be, okay, let me just go here. We're just going to draw this one, x2, y3. And for this one, x5 and y8 would be here, somewhere here. And we don't have enough graph. So see, this is a trick that we use. We just save extra time. So now take a look. We want to go from x2 to x5. So that means we're going to go three horizontally, like we're gonna go three this way, okay? And then from this y, three, we're gonna go y8. So we need to go how many up on y-axis? When you go from three to eight, you go five up. So we're gonna go three, right? Five up. And does it matter if I start from here, for example, go three up and five up? No. So let's just start it from somewhere lower, maybe here, so that 
we just use the grid that we already have. I'm going to go three up, one, two, three, and five, three right, and five up. One, two, three, four, five. So I, all I really need to do is connect these two points. This way, I don't have to draw a grid, which would take time. Okay, now we just have to see, okay, this line segment passes how many of these interiors? This one, one, obviously. This one, two. Okay, this one is a little tricky, but it definitely passes this one, three, four, five, six, and seven. So it's going to pass seven squares. We multiply it by seven. It's going to be 7,000. So C is the right answer. But see, some people will just have doubt, right? So for example, when I had this line over here, is it really passing this one or I'm not drawing it well, right? So is there a way to really check this? Okay, that is passing this. The answer is yes, okay? So remember, we wanted to go five up, three forward, right? We wanted to go five up, and we wanted to go three forward. That's what we did. See here, it's a ratio question. When we want to go two up, so how much forward should I go? Okay, with the same ratios. If this one wants to become two, okay, I have to divide it by 2.5. Then this becomes two. Okay, let's go here. Three, if I divide this by 2.5, what is three divided by 2.5? Is it one or a little more? It's a little more, so that's why here, is saying that this one is a little more than one. Remember, one is here on x-axis. We're a little to the right, so this is not a coincidence. This is not a bad drawing. It's actually like this. So when we are at two here, which is gonna be this one, the x value is three divided by 2.5. So we're a little forward. So we're actually right. This one, we need to count this. So this would be the way to check it. If you're saying, oh, maybe I made a mistake, I didn't draw it well, you could check it like this, but you don't have to. So we already have the answer, it's 7,000.